Hey folks, today we're gonna talk about the, the deliciosity that is honey on hot dogs. Though, now I, I, I know what you're thinking, and yes, that does sound weird, but it's very tasty. It's tastier than you think. Okay, I'm just kidding. We're here in Chris's uh, ancestral homeland. This is the place, the very table I am sitting at the exact location where the first paper computer game ever made was played, sitting right here. And today, Chris and I are gonna collaborate for the very first time. We are going to draw Zubac together at the same time at the very place where the very first paper computer game was ever played. Let's draw a paper computer game. Stop me whenever, whenever you think it's halfway. All right, All right here we go. All right. We've got so. pink as our wine color right now. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's fix that. Let's start with some black outlines and some. Yeah, technical pen is what I normally use, but. All right, so let's use that then. Undo and then draw it down. Maybe I should back off the face. The face is freaking me out. That's not the part of Zuvac I'm the best at drawing. Let's start with the part I am better at. And yet I'm still failing anyway. But... Yeah, this, this whole iPad drawing thing, I am not used to it. Well, you know, it's the first time for everything. I'm gonna dig into it. I'm gonna get some drawing done. Mm-hmm. Actually, it looks like a pretty good lamp post right now. <laughs> Indeed. That's what I go for. Pretty good lamp post. My life goals right there. So I used to I used to draw, like, I, 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 I added this whole um, technical base to Zuvac. Mm. I remember he always used to just be like a stick figure tripod, but, you know, I thought he might have some actual three-dimensionality to him. And then I figured, you know, he would have these, like, these ports, I don't know what they're ports for, but maybe some somebody will flush that out in a future PCG. But in any event, um, he's got three-dimensional sort of tripod legs. I always imagined your drawing of uh, Zubac at the bottom is like a cinder block. It looks like <laughs> cement. What's heavy? <laughs> well, that is because I shaded a lot. It, it looked heavy is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It does look heavy. Alright, I think this is definitely more than halfway, so maybe I should turn this over to you. Alright, if you if you want me to, I, I can jump in, but um, All right. keep going if you'd like. Alright, let me add just one more thing. <laughs> this like barbershop thing. I don't know why. I felt like he needed some detail on his stick. You know, I think this is Ken. I think <laughs> I think Zubac <laughs> is part of a barbershop quartet. <laughs> Alright, let's see. work with the lines that are given here. I like his head. I'll make him his eye a lot bigger. He's like a... He's got one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's got some shock and all. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I don't know if I like those eyebrows. A little worried. Um, all right, let's draw some hair on him. There. All right, there we go. And let's add a quick background. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. That's the background. Uh, no, um, maybe we can we do a little something more. Um, should you be outside or inside? Where, where should you be? 
Um, I feel like Zuvac's kind of an inside kind of cat. Yeah, that's true. All right, here we go. Let's put some, let's put some uh, control panels here. I'll put a big dial here. Dads, an antenna. All right, there we go. And then, I don't know, there's another. We got some sort of zone. layer behind here. It is your turn to add some color. Oh shoot. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go to airbrushing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go, what do you like, a feathery look or hardly? Yeah, I'll let you choose some stuff. But anyway, here you go. Well, you're swapping out again, and now you can draw some color and it'll be behind the line. Oh shoot. Are we, we're on the correct layer now, right? Yes, I, I got you on the red layer. This will be black, by the way, but... Okay, that's a bit, uh... It's a bit, uh... You generally probably want to make the, actually, the brush size a little bit bigger. Yeah. But it's all in black, so what you gotta do... Mm -hmm. is you, you pick... You pick the blue spectrum, but you gotta move the dot over it. Yeah. I feel like, um, I do kind of want it to be gray. Yeah. All right. Is it okay if I color over him? Like, is like. Yeah, we'll add another layer and we'll, we'll put uh, the, the next color over. All right. So it is pressure sensitive, so it'll be darker the more layers you go over it or the more uh, harder you press. Nice. <laughs> Even worse. Well, if you want to just do, um, what you could do is you could erase everything, right? You want to get it totally even, right? Yeah. When I get the whole thing even, let's use a hard brush, a uh, hard one. Let's make it fucking huge, and then you know. <laughs> Wow. Just nuke that, right? And then oh. you just erase. Clever. Which you don't want. Alright. So now, well, I erased a little bit too much, but you can add a new. Oh, I can't see. Um, you can add a new layer. I that's feel just airbrushing. That's just a solid color with like potentially yeah. texture. You could also grab a texture if you prefer. I feel strongly that the floor is red. All right. No, it's purple. Hey, <laughs> that is too big. <laughs> it's hella purple. Hella Pur purple indeed. That's scarfy purple. Yeah, it is. A uh, crossover potential, possibly? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. All right, well, we can do this, too. Uh, just clean up, oops. Clean up that. And I'm also going to put 
and blend these colors a bit. All right, it's on another layer. Go. And then for his, let's see if we can put another layer on top of here. The inside of Zubak's mouth is red. It isn't this strong. <laughs> like, see, this is this is raising all sorts of questions. Does he have a tongue? Is he human? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Oh my god, or what if that's his nose? What if that's like an absurdly big clown nose? It's almost too crazy to think about. So, we do this, right? We just like kind of go a little nuts, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. And then we do like a darker shade here. And then medium blend like that, we'll Get it a little depth. This is starting to look cool. Alright, and then we kind of clean up the outside. The line here. This is kind of somewhat tedious and maybe some programs give you the ability to fill in these. I kind of like the manual nature of this. This is so satisfying to watch. <laughs> I like to pick up the... I don't actually like to, but I do pick up the pen as much as I can while still maintaining my flow because every time I do, it, it's an undo point. Yeah. I mess something up. You can see there, it looks a little nicer than this one over here. Not the most exciting TV, but... Well, I mean, I imagine we can always, like, speed this up in the edit. And, like, better. It will be the most exciting TV. <laughs> Now, now look at that clown. Yeah. Look at that clown. Yeah. <laughs> look at that wacky clown. Look at that floor. Holy sh! All right, here's here's now. Now what we gotta do? This is now. This is for you, Zach. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna need. I put in a new layer. You're gonna have to do the body. Okay. All right. All right. I think I can handle it. I already failed. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sue back, we're in a barbershop quartet. Who else would be in? Uh. Let me ask you this. If Zubak was a barbershop, who else would be in that barbershop? Like, if Zubak were. Like, what if he was the barber pole? <laughs> like, he, you know, he was out on, down on his luck. He was hired as a barbershop pole. Uh-huh. You know, who would... Who would be coming into that barbershop? Uh, I mean... I mean, I would. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Who wouldn't want a clown on a stick with no hands to cut your hair? Oh, so he's also the barber. Yeah. Wait, isn't he? I thought he was just the barber pole. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> but he could also be the barber. I mean... That is like... I feel like... You can't have Zubak in a barber shop and have him not be the barber. I imagine Zuvac as a barber would just use magnetism to throw blades at your head and <laughs> hopefully just cut your hair. <laughs> okay, this is not gonna be super, you know, amazing or anything, but 
it is going to be a... Well, the problem is it does look too much like the outside. I feel like we're going to have to add something to this. All right, you want to add some color on top of it? Yeah, maybe. You could also pick a different brush if you prefer. You could uh, lighten the color. You could... Hmm. Add some highlights. Let's Here. add a layer. Do it, dude. And... Ooh, what are these values and harmonies and things? That just tells you what, um, based on the current color that you have selected, what in like color theory would be what it's saying. So, mm. you know, like the this is the ascended, so like the, the kind of opposite or the right. like things that are, are harm, harmonious with that color, would dissonant with that color. Is like, so you don't have any like metallic effects or anything like that, or like. Um, not per se, unless you do a brush that looks like metal. Okay, so in that case, I need a brush that looks like metal. But you could go to textures, let's say, or or industrial. Industrial. Yeah, down here. Um, ooh. And you might want to change, uh, switch to a lighter color, but otherwise it's going to blend with the line. Mm. Okay. Let's try this one. Heavy metal. Okay. It's just like little tweaks. Well, let's what, make it brighter or something? Yeah. Uh, I think so. So it's probably going to be a big brush, so <laughs> you just want to... Slide that slider down and always a race around the edge. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? It's giving it some texture and it's making it pop against the line. Yeah, that is true. Got it like a kind of a green setting, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Against the darker background, it's like it gives it a little texture shadow. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is handy. I don't know. Finish touching this up. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. But it does need some more conventional shading, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, if you want to shade, I would go back to airbrushing personally okay. uh, and do like a lighter, um, yeah, it's towards the middle. Um, like I would do like a medium blend or a soft blend uh, okay. rough and because um, that'll That'll overlay, and then you can draw the opacity down a little bit. Is this thing still recording? It says it is. Okay. Yeah. It's hard to really control, but... All right. I think I, I um, am satisfied with this. Hell yeah. I'm talking about. I'm good. Let's go. Alright, let's see. Let's just clean up some of these lines here. We don't need the floor poking through. Alright, now I want to add two things. One is this background. Spray. My erase all the lines technique works, but it is time consuming. Indeed. I think this is like by far the most time consuming aspect coloring it in when I like clearly drew this shape in like half a second. 
it's like it's like I'm working really hard to pre preserve how sloppy this is. <laughs> think looks awesome <laughs> all right folks so through our valiant efforts and especially mine because Chris sucks <laughs> um, we have produced dun, dun, dun. this is zoom back uh, yeah I, mean, I don't know I think it looks pretty cool what do you think I think it does I think uh, in Zubac's new uh, Disco Control Center, uh, he's having a good time. <laughs> disco Control Center. That know. is canonically where he is. I think <laughs> it has to be. I mean, that floor is just popping. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, yeah, like, what else would that be? So, I mean, you, you know, I, I just want to know, you know, what, what is going on here? Like, you know, this is like some future PCG where, like, what, Zubac, you know, has to stop a disco invasion. <laughs> so, I think so. I mean, look. Zubac looks concerned, he looks shocked, and worried. Um, the floor is obviously a, a very vibrant disco color, and uh, something's happening out on the dance floor. But behind him is a series of controls, so uh, it's got to be Disco Control Center and something. I don't know, somebody pulled a crazy dance move, or there's a, an invasion happening, one of the two. Maybe both. Sounds logical. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I, I look forward to learning more about this. I, 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 I want to know what's going on. But in the meantime, um, I mean, this video was pretty much made because uh, we had technical problems and we couldn't uh, play PCG Anniversary Special 2, which was the original plan for the evening. Hopefully we'll play that in the, in the, in like, in the near future, I, I, I hope. But uh, for now, we're not doing that, so yay, enjoy the video. <laughs> But, PCG you later. <laughs> yeah, oh, I got, I got you, sir. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks.